during the pandemic. Georgia Congressman Buddy Carter has introduced a bill that would ban federal funds from states implementing programs that assist illegal immigrants. And Congressman Carter joins us now to talk about this. And, sir, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Nice out there on the patio. Tell us a little bit about your bill. Well, first of all, tax dollars from hardworking Americans should never go to illegal immigrants. And states are gaming the system. What they're doing is they're taking state taxpayer money and they're implementing assistance programs to, to illegal immigrants. And then they're taking discretionary federal funds and replacing those state taxpayers' dollars. Mm -hmm. So they're actually undermining the federal immigration system. As you can imagine, what happens is that this attracts, when, whenever these programs are set, are set up in New York and California, as you mentioned, it attracts these immigrants. They know about this. They find out about it, and that's why they want to come over here, because they'll be able to get this assistance here. And what my bill simply says is that the heads of the departments, the, the directors of the departments or agencies, shall not send federal funds to those states that have implemented assistance programs for illegal immigrants. It's mm. as simple as that. Yeah. Here's a, a, a question. How in the world would you know wh whether or not, I mean, wouldn't it be so easy to game the system if you were an illegal immigrant in this country and you're working, doing uh, landscape, mowing lawns, something like that, and you're doing something under the table where you're getting cash, you're not paying taxes anyway on your income, how the hell would the government know whether or not you lost your job? Well, that's a good question. And, and certainly, uh, you know, when, when you're talking about state takes state taxpayers' funds, yeah. then that's different from the federal. Now, we've got laws in place I'm out, that yeah, I'm, protect I'm, federal funds that, yeah. from going to illegal immigrants. However, the states, they're gaming the system, as I said, by just replacing the state taxpayers' funds that they're giving to illegal immigrants and replacing it with federal funds. And that's nothing right. more than gaming the system. It's a shell game. I mean, like we said, it's $15,000 in some cases. And, and I just feel like that would be the easiest fifteen grand in the world to just get. I mean, I just, I don't think that would be a very hard system to game. And you could still be working. You could still be doing all the, the jobs you were doing before. You're getting paid in cash under the table. You're not paying taxes anyway, and you're getting a free 15 grand. Um, Department of Homeland Security says a veteran border patrol agent in Texas was charged with smuggling illegal immigrants for money on several occasions in 2019. This is really something. According to the indictment, agent Rodney Tolson Jr., would let vehicles he knew had illegal immigrants through a checkpoint near Laredo, Texas, and then he got paid off for his complicity. Um, how does something like this happen? I mean, do you think that this is a common problem? I, I hope it's not, and I don't think it is. I'll be quite honest with you. I've visited the border, unlike Kamala Harris, unlike uh, Joe Biden. I've been to the border, and I've been there recently, and I will tell you, the vast majority of these agents are doing a great job. We know that there are some bad apples. This is obviously an example of a bad apple. Yeah. But for the most part, for the vast majority are doing outstanding work. And, and, and we're very blessed to have them and, and fortunate to have them with the Border Patrol. But when you hear stories like this, of course, it, it, it really is upsetting and, and, and really does deteriorate your confidence in the system. But again, this is the exception. It is not the rule. Fair enough. In, in other news, uh, today the Senate Judiciary Committee held a hearing on the uh, nomination of David Chipman to lead the ATF. And we've gone off on this guy before. He has been caught lying uh, about the Waco crisis. Uh, he's going to potentially run the main agency that enforces federal gun laws. He supports a general ban on assault weapons like the AR-15. And today John Kennedy asked him just to define the weapon that he wants to get rid of. And here's the response. What's an assault weapon? Yeah, Senator, uh, um, the bill uh, to ban assault what, weapons is, what is your dozens of pages. Of There's no way I could define an assault weapon. You don't have any, you're going to run an a this agency and you don't have a definition of assault weapon? I mean, that's just a moment right there. Uh, your thoughts? Uh, it's unbelievable. I mean, I mean, this is the typical Democratic response. They want all our guns. There's no question about it. They will define an assault weapon as all guns, and that's what they, they want to do, is to take away our Second Amendment rights. And, and certainly having someone like this who has proven his incompetency that, in charge of that department, that, that's, you know, I, I don't know how anybody could support his, his nomination. Right.
Yeah, I mean, I, I think we know what they think assault weapons are. I mean, it's, it's, it's a rifle that they think makes it easier to aim, makes it easier to kill people, but they won't give that answer because I think they know that gets them into some muddy water. Uh, it's funny to see them try to dance around this thing while they're trying to get rid of them at the same time. Uh, Georgia Congressman Buddy Carter, he's got the uh, best view in Congress. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Thank you. All right.